Ever wish Excel could just do the thinking for you? Well, Microsoft 365 Copilot might be trying to grant you that wish. In this video, I'm diving into my first hands-on experience with M365 Copilot in Excel. Spoiler alert, it's not magic, but it might save you from those late night formula battles. If you're curious whether Copilot is a legit game changer, whoops, bad word, you get me, or it's just another feature you'll forget exists, stick around. I've got the co-pilot icon in the home part of the ribbon. And usually in the cell, sometimes when you select it, you've you got a floating co-pilot icon. I don't have it in this one. Maybe Microsoft did an update on my version and I don't have it anymore. So that's kind of nice because some people have complained about it. It does get in the way sometimes. What you'll find is if you want to use co-pilot in Excel, I'm going to click it here. It's going to ask you to save your Excel on the OneDrive. So it has to turn on auto save. So if I turn on auto save, I have to go through that process. I'll save it to my personal OneDrive here. Take the default name. And now in the, the panel here, we've got the different options for Copilot. We can start by creating a table, a box plot. Uh, there's some things for us to create if we want to do that. If I just took an option here to create a table, create a table using comparing to plans, it will go out and create a table for me to put the planets right so it's kind of nice here it's going to create a little information here and it's going to have a little preview of that table if you want to put it into the sheet i can click insert to new sheet and it'll put it there which is really nice it does that research for you but maybe in my instance i want to create something new i want to create some dummy data so i'm going to create some dummy data of people right and so i only need about 20 records uh, probably just the name age sex uh, color and maybe number of fingers. Let's put something in there. So I will put something over here and I have my dummy data sentence here, 20 records and click send. Copilot will go out, work on it and bring back a table in this navigation pane. And it will be a table that it's going to enter. And it'll be this table that I can enter into the sheet now. This looks okay. So click enter to new sheet. I have it here. Everybody here has 10 fingers. Thank God. So that's not bad. It's created dummy data for me. So I can probably do some testing. That's really nice for Copilot. So these basic things that Copilot does is really nice when you think about it. Let's say I want to do some formula and I want to figure out who is under 30. And I want to have a column to indicate if the person is under 30. Yes. If not, no. Click send. And it's going to go out and figure that out, calculate it, and bring back a table or a column view that says yes or no and ask if i want to insert it and i'll click insert kind of highlights it there insert do a little random check here yes this one is under 30 yes this one's under 30 yes this one's over 30 no so it correctly did that so it's kind of nice and if we look at the cell in here it's actually a formula and it's actually an if function so it's kind of nice it created a function on the fly for us and inserted a column with that function so that's really nice if we wanted to do other things like do some conditional formatting, let's say I want to see how many of these are duplicates. Copilot can also do that. Maybe I want to highlight any of the values in there that are duplicate. All right, so we're going to highlight the favorite color column and see which one have duplicate values. Copilot's going to go figure that out and go and do some conditional formatting. It's going to do it in yellow, so that's okay. I'll apply that. And let's see what happens. Most of these are duplicates, you can see, but let's see if it really works. So maybe here instead of green, let's call this one periwinkle. Periwinkle. And it's no longer highlight yellow. So that's nice. And you can see that this actually works because if I go under home, conditional formatting, manage rules, it created this rule that this was not there before. It created this rule for me. Let's see if we can get Copilot to do something a little bit more complex. Maybe I wanted to have it create some fake sentences, right? Uh, maybe these people are giving feedback on a meal. Let's put that in there. Create a column called meal feedback. Uh, under 15 words or less, give an opinion about that meal. Let's see if it works. Click send. And let's see if it'll create this fake data and do it correctly. All right, let's see if it did that. Not bad. It actually created a column called Mule Feedback for us to preview. 
And in this instance, it created a whole brand new table. It's going to ask us if we want to put it onto a new sheet. I'm okay with that, I guess. I'm, I don't need to add a column here. Maybe I'll just insert it to a new sheet. And it created that, inserted it into a new sheet. So that wasn't bad. It, it made up, totally made up some stuff. Let's make it a little bit even more complex now. Let's see if it can analyze the meal feedback data and analyze it and put it into categories of positive, negative, or neutral. Let's see if it can do that. And this type of process is called sentiment analysis. We're trying to analyze the sentiment of feedback. So, so let's give it a try and see if Copilot can do it. Create a new column that will categorize the response in column G as either positive, negative, or neutral. Click send. And let's see how Copilot does in this one. Okay, not bad, but it, what it did is it just created, it just looked at it and created a whole bunch of if then type of statements. And that's okay. I'm going to insert it in here and see if it actually worked. So the meal was delicious, positive. I enjoyed the meal, positive. Let's see if something was really bad. If something was bad, the meal was, everything was positive. I like, no, see, look, I like the meal and that was negative. I love the meal and that was positive. Neutral, the meal was fine. So you can see that Copilot did okay. Uh, I think for basic, easier stuff, inserting a table, doing some basic formulas, it did okay. It's not bad. But a little bit more complex things, I think Copilot probably will improve in the future. But currently today, I probably stick with the easy stuff if we're going to use Copilot. All right, those are my honest impressions of M365 Copilot in Excel. Is it perfect? No. Is it promising? Absolutely. If you enjoyed this breakdown, give it a thumbs up and tell the algorithm I'm doing something right. And hey, if you're into tech that almost does your job for you, subscribe for more reviews like this. Catch you next time.